So it appears that for today's video, we're going to be talking about a first person shooter that I haven't milked yet. Although I have talked about Bioshock 4 on the channel before, so this will be the second time I'm milking it. But th that'll increase in time, I'm sure. Anyway, so it appears that the next Bioshock could be open world. Let's read this article about it. So Bioshock 4 will be open world and have ambitious AI systems according to job listings. Now keep in mind that this has not been officially confirmed as of now. This is at most a rumor, so until it's officially confirmed in any way, make sure to take all this with a massive brain assault as always. So, anyways, reading on. Cloud Chamber is leading development on the next Bioshock game in the series. Colloquially, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, but unofficially referred to as Bioshock 4. A series of job listings for positions that Cloud Chamber have started to paint a picture for what, for what the next game in the Bioshock series universe, excuse me, will entail. One of the biggest of those reveals is that Bioshock 4 is to be is to be set in an open world game in some regard more so than the twisted underwater passageways of Rapture or the airy seas streets of Columbia. I can't read words today. We've known for some time, again thanks to job listings, that Bioshock 4 would shrug off both Rapture and Columbia in favor of a new and fantastical world, but additional details have been sparse. This latest job listing for a senior writer specifically says, we're hoping to find someone who can weave impactful character driven stories in an open world setting. Now, I believe I brought this up in the previous Bioshock 4 video that I've made. When it comes to a Bioshock 4, I don't want it to take place in Rapture. I want it to take place in a new setting, so knowing that this is what these rumors are pointing to again, take them all with a huge grain of salt. If this turns out to be true, I'll be happy because as much as I love Rapture, we've seen it enough at this point, so it's, it's time for something new. Even something that isn't even Columbia, you know, just... A, a very different setting altogether since that whole storyline is done with at this point. By the way, if you haven't seen that previous Bioshock 4 video, you should go watch it. But anyways, reading on. In addition, the other job listing provides some tantalizing details about Bioshock 4. Story will still be told entirely from a first person perspective with fully interactive set pieces. Okay, that's a good thing, so they're staying true to Bioshock in that regard. They're looking for a cinematic designer which says we are looking for an artist who can masterfully create the narrative first person moments that exist along a continuum of fully interactive set pieces in our game. The listing for a game designer for weapons says the role will take ownership of the design process for player weapons and signature powers, revealing that Bioshock 4 will once again be a combination of weapons and powers. I assume that the powers in this game won't be referred to as plasmids since, going by this rumor, it's not going to take place in Rapture. Similar to Bioshock Infinite, it'll have its own version of that, which I'm forgetting what they're called in Bioshock Infinite. Eh, it doesn't matter much. Anyways, the open world will be living, according to the listing for a senior world designer. Combine handcrafted set pieces with emerging AI behavior to create a living world that offers players variety at every step of the game. And the listings for an AI programmer talks about pushing the limits, limits of AI interactions in games. We have high ambitions for tying AI and storytelling together, and it will be a responsibility to crystallize that ambition around several AI systems. You will be in close collaboration with design leadership to flesh out the designs and finalize the implementations for an urban crowd system and the systemic tribal ecology of a sometimes hostile AI. You will lead the engineering side of those objectives. You will also be expected to help push our conception of what is possible in this arena, doing as much to advance the ambition as you will attempt to build it. In addition, this listing talks about a meaningful AI urban crowd system and systematic tribal ecology of a sometimes hostile AI, and that the role will help to push the envelope of what is possible with interactive crowd systems. It import it's important to note that the developer scope can change, and the listings don't necessarily refer to final features that will make it into the game. For now, these are simply hits at the direction Cloud Chamber is aiming to take the next Bioshock game, but we know, but we won't know more for certain until it's revealed. So at this point, when it comes to Bioshock 4, if there's one thing that we do know, it's that a new Bioshock game is in development. 2K confirmed it over a year ago at this point, I believe. So a new one currently is in the works, but again, none of this is officially confirmed, but there is a likely chance a lot of this could turn out to be true because from the sounds of this, it, I just get the impression that what they're trying to do is take the ambition that Infinite had, but couldn't properly pull off because of the limitations of hardware at the time. Because there's a lot more that um, Irrational Games want to do with the game, which they just couldn't. So I feel like they're going to take the time to really implement a lot, of those di the, uh, bleh, a lot of those ideas into this game. Because I believe something they wanted to do was have more of a proper open world experience with Infinite, which... I feel like had they just waited for the Xbox One and PS4 to come out at the time since it had released in 2013 and was supposed to originally release in 2010, I believe. Had they just waited another- uh, ha blah! Had they just waited another year, per perhaps they would have 
been able to realize that idea fully, but unfortunately, they didn't get to. So maybe going off of these rumors and how they're pointing towards a truly open world game, possibly, we could see that finalized just so long as they execute the formula correctly and it's not filled with all sorts of tedious and boring side content then we should be pretty good. Also some other rumors that came up about the game well over a year ago at this point as well I'm pretty sure were rumors about how the game could apparently be a live service which I really hope that's not the case and they don't use this open world as a means to have that be the focus which from the sound of things with how they're going for a proper cinematic first person shooter experience I feel like these rumors are are just solely focusing on on a um, single player version of this game and maybe maybe we'll get a live service multiplayer alongside it I don't know but as always take this all with a huge grain of salt don't believe it until you officially seen it see it get confirmed by either 2k or cloud chamber so yeah it's probably gonna be a while before we get an official reveal for Bioshock 4 in any way so until then all we can do is just speculate about what we're possibly teased with, or in this case, what rumors we we get and how we perceive those rumors, and you, you know how it goes in the industry at this point with games that aren't confirmed, well, are confirmed in this case, just aren't officially shown off in any way. There's, there's going to be plenty of rumors appearing about this game until it gets officially revealed, I'm sure, especially as we get closer and closer to that point, and... It'll be interesting to see where they take the series from here, especially now that Ken Levine no longer has any involvement with it since he is the mastermind behind the Bioshock series. So the fact that he's not involved anymore, that's definitely something to think a bit about and to maybe be a bit cautious about going into this because now that they don't have the original creator here working on the game, it's not very possible to tell how it could turn out. But at the same time, since this is from Fresh Minds and their take on the series, that could potentially mean something very different, but still great. I mean, Bioshock 2, personally, I don't think it's the best game in the series, but it's still a pretty solid game in its own right. And, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that probably disagree about Ken Levine's involvement and probably feel that him not being involved is a good thing because some people aren't particularly fans of Bioshock Infinite and don't really like the game all that much, and he was the one behind that game. So, to them, this may be a good thing because now... This probably means no more convoluted mindfuckery storytelling of what we saw with Infinite. So, Bioshock 4, as I've said a hundred thousand times, just take it all with a grain of salt. And yeah, that's what there is to say on the topic of Bioshock 4. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Bioshock 4 and these rumors? And do you want to see a Bioshock 4? And if so, what are you hoping for? A return to Rapture, a return to Columbia, something completely new like what this article is referring to? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and that's going to be the news video for today. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and set it to all notifications, as well as follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you all next time, but until then, I'm out. Later.